God hates sin. He created hell for sin. And he created hell for those people who choose sin. God will never send somebody to hell randomly because of some because it it, it is his whim or just some kind of a capricious state or out of a mood swing. You see, God doesn't have mood swings unlike us. God doesn't have that mood swing. Thank God. He doesn't have any menopausal problems. He doesn't go through midlife crisis like we do men. God doesn't have all that doesn't have that kind of weaknesses at all. If ever people go to hell because they choose to go to hell, because they choose to practice sin, because they choose to reject consecration, because they take for granted consecration, they think so romantically about God. Oh, God, you know, loves the sinner, so he loves me. What, when I fall, I stumble. Let me tell you this. God loves you so much that He is giving you the opportunity to hear this kind of message. That, that, depending, depending on your spirit is already offending you. Depending on how you walk up today is already making you uncomfortable. I don't know. There are people who don't like holiness. There are people in the world who don't like to be in the church because they don't like holiness. There are believers in the church who don't like holiness. They just want religion. They just want to be nice. They just want to be courteous. They just want to dress up. This might be offending you. This might be, you know, making you uncomfortable. You're, you're squirming. But hey, we did not put out that sign at the lobby for no reason. We are a church that values holiness. If you're looking for religion, there are many churches out there that offer that. If you are looking for something that is watered down message, there's a lot of them on television. Just watch them with a blanket. You, on, you are on a sofa. You, you're good. <laughs> you're set. But if you're looking for a church that values holiness, let me tell you this. Don't go anywhere else. You're in the right place. And I know we have, it's hard for me as a pastor. I have actually two audiences. You and those watching us on live webcasts. And third, those people who will be watching us on TV. But here's what I'm going to tell you, my dearest brethren here in South Bay. Listen to me carefully. We need to revisit the concept of holiness. We need to once again look at holiness with a long, hard look. Because it's only by knowing the importance of holiness you will enjoy God 